Hello everybody, it's Alexis Mateo And me, Charissa May And welcome to a brand new episode of Fashion Photo Review Drag Race España Season Chao. Chao. <laughs> In yes, idiomas, querida. Now, sis, it out wow. Oh my God. Top five, sis. Top five. How you feeling? Look at our Spanish babies. Just oh, top no, five. No, they're taking all over the world. This season has they pushed are. the boundaries on every franchise for Drag Race. Tonight's runway theme is Spanish heroines, and the girls are bringing it to the runway. What are you expecting in the runway, sis? I expect some Glamazonian ready for the runway. They are bad bitches. If they made it this far, they're already heroines for so many people in their hometowns and their drag community. This is a crunch time for these girls because it's the top five. One small detail can send you home and not make it to the top four. And that is crazy and devastating at this point. So um, what I'm expecting from these girls is just out of the box gagging wordy because that's yeah. what is going to take you all the way to the top. So let's see, okay. you ready? I'm ready. Oh my God, preparadas. Bring back the girls, honey. La categoría es heroínas de España. First up, Yurigi. Oh, Yurigi in white. You guys already know what I'm going to say, right? Because we love this girl. Oh my God. This Bell reveal on this white porcelain makeup on Juriji is just stunning. The makeup complements the whole entire look. She's floating and she knows her brand very well. We've seen Juriji in blacks, creams, whites, and reds a lot in this in this runway. And I love that she's kept that that theme because it's it's really getting to build her brand to, to the audience and to us as well. We're getting to know her a lot more each episode. Just the amount of detail is done here. The flowers, the color, the contrast, the feeling. This is gorgeous on this girl. She looks stunning. I think that's one crochet you stay sorcery going on up in here. I <laughs> love this. Only thing I have to say about it is the, the disconnection between the next section and some kind of like bodysuit. It kind of throw me off for a second, but because they're all both in the same kind of wide shape, it's okay because it blends really well. This is not an easy material to work with. And this kind of technique must be so complicated to make an outfit that fits so well. Uh, the veil, she had a bit of a reveal with the face. She, they, there were stages to the to the to the outfit. She was telling us a story. So from me, injury G, yet again, it's a tooth. Gorgeous. It's a tooth. Next up, Marina. Everything Marina brings to the runway, I feel like belongs in a museum. This piece feels like a sculpture. It doesn't even feel like fashion anymore. I, I, we're moving on to new areas that we haven't explored yet. These uh, abstract shapes that she's presenting, they are gorgeous. And I just love the colors in it. The pink, pale blue and white representing the trans community. All the names written in the pants. She's decided to go with something that means so much to her and probably lots of friends that she has back in, in her drag scene and here, in her scene in, in Barcelona. Could some details be a lot better? Absolutely. The fabric of the of the pants flow could be a lot better if she had used something different. I love the pants. I think it's gorgeously done. This is a beautiful bell bottom, high-waisted. I love that it's lined into pink and I love the shoe combination. Marina knows her body very well. She knows how she looks on stage and she goes for it. And she has a beautiful modeling silhouette. The jacket is really short. It br brings all those little uh, hands with it. It kind of make a frame for her face. The focus is the face holding that heart on top of her. I think it breaks stereotypes, and I think this is something that I can see in a, in a magazine, in a runway show. She is incorporated some techniques that we haven't seen on Drag Race before. It's a high, high two. Yep, it's a two from me. Next up, Estrella Extravaganza. Oh, girl, Estrella serving us back in the day reporter. The way that she has changed the skin tones, and this is very difficult, people. Don't be trying this at home if you cannot pull it off. You have to paint 
every piece of your body. Everything has to be cohesive. Estrella is not very well when it comes to fitting their clothes, but this fits her lovely. I love how the skirt splits all the way up there, baby, because she just didn't keep it classic, baby. <laughs> she went for it and she's serving us a beautiful leg. From the accessories of having a camera, a microphone, and then no bug, I love how the jacket shoulders comes out. And the newspaper print on this is just really, really super cool. Stray's a clever cookie. She's kept the best looks towards the end and she's really <laughs> stepping it up. She started from the bottom and is going all the way up. Every week, the looks are getting better and better and better. And that's a great strategy. And this power suit, I am absolutely obsessed. It just really fits her really well. Like, I love a shoulder pad, as you can see. And she combines personality, comedy, and good looks. The one thing that I thought it was a bit off is the color of the tights. I wish the tights were a bit lighter to match her, her skin tone a bit more so to make me feel that that's her leg. And she just looked like she's been taken from a black and white film and just placed there. Like, every single pore of her body and costume is black and white and gray. So the fitting is very well. The slit is a very clever choice. It just means you can move a lot better. Pencil skirts are hard to walk on. Not only looks like it's from an old school Hollywood movie, it also looks like it's from a brand new superhero movie. This is this is something that could come out from a, a comic book and just pop out of you like this crazy reporter who also has superpowers to predict the future and just slay into the top four of Drag Race Spain. You never know. And serving Spanish history as well, like educating the world. Like this is incredible. They are bringing the past into the wrong way. Like really, really important, like female figures in the story of Spain that sometimes the, the, the story of, of women is not told and they are doing this with drag. Estrella, baby, you deserve it. This is a shoot. I'm obsessed. Hey, why not? Yeah, let's shoot it. Hey! Congrats, girl. Up next, Sharon. I love the contrast between the previous looks to this, but this is so colorful. This is so Fun. Oh my god, the yellow in this look is really popping and the combination with the nice turquoise and green, it really makes it pop really nicely and she's wearing beautiful makeup to combine it even better. The flowers in the dress are absolutely beautiful, but I like the little surprises that she has in the skirt, in the apron, like you don't see it coming. That's the thing about reveals and little gags. You normally see them coming, but with this one, I didn't see any of these coming. She shows a part of the skirt and shows a few things than the other one. And then when you think it's done, the apron has a computer as well. Sharon has a great eye for to mix different elements that may think like you may think that they might not work together. But when she puts them together, like, oh, I never thought this color combo, I never thought this look could be so elevated to be on the runway of RuPaul's Drag Race. When I see colors like this, immediately bring me back to memories of my childhood. Now, if you see from the waist up, this is literally something that you will see a princess wear in a movie. She has an incredible ability to transform herself back and forward with age. Like, this is incredible. This little girl that is walking down the, the runway today is a young housewife and is never close to the age from the last runway she just did. Now, this skirt, probably the ugliest print you have ever seen in your life. I but like when it. You put it together. It's gorgeous because it works. It works. I love that it does match the little shoes. These shoes have beautiful details that match this outfit and it complements the look from head to toe, including the, the yellow hair. When you're little, this is probably why everybody plays at home. So this is for me is that reference for being a little kid dreaming of being an adult and having your own house. And I'm just gonna go ahead and toot this look. This is gorgeous. And I'm gonna toot this look and I'm gonna toot the story that Alexis just totally made up about this look. Next up, Benedita Von Dash. Benedita is serving us art, baby. This is a painter in full drag fantasy, baby. <laughs> I love how big the dress is. It's a double layer 
Momo dress and it's beautiful because it fits her very well in the shoulders. Sometimes it doesn't fit that well because they people trying to get this volume at the bottom and it never happens in the top, but this is very well fitted in the top. Very Venedita. My favorite piece of this outfit is the hair. The screen Spain. She has a beautiful body, but we already know that. So this is a brand new thing for her. I think when, when you go to the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race, it seems like the norm is always to have an hourglass figure and a costume that can say to aids all your curves. There's other shapes than that. And I love the Veneditas, like you already know I have a great body. Let me have some fun. This is probably quite comfortable because she doesn't have to cinch or pat or anything like that. <laughs> so she's not only looking absolutely gorgeous, she's also comfortable. And I love that. I like that the splashes of paint work really, really well. Again, something that might seem easy to do, but to do it well and for the colors to look nice, it's not that easy. The fact that she's representing an artist and she has her own signature, Vene, on the actual costume is great. The splashes of red with the lips, the jacket, the actual splashes on the costume, the shoes, everything here makes sense. Everything here is connected. Her makeup, again, she's another one that can transform and keeping her Venedita brand, for me, it's one of my favorite looks that Venedita is done. And I, I like that. I like that she sh is showing us this versatility. I like every element of the look separately. I am obsessed with the Mumu dress. I will wear the Mumu dress, hands down, by itself. Like, I love the shoes, by itself. I love the draping of that jacket in the back, by itself. Like, everything has a separation for me that I will do, I will wear myself. But what is incredible is that there's a lot of shit happening here, people, but it still works gorgeously. This is an avant-garde look, people, because I love it, I hate it, I love it again. For me, it's a very high toot. It's a toot, baby. Let's go, Benita. Yes, <laughs> success. I love oh it. That God, was I think that's awesome. everyone. At this point, it could go either way. The girls are turning the party individually. They're so unique and so different from each other that it's kind of difficult to predict how this is going to end. There's two weeks in a row, we've, it's all toots because all these looks are really, really, really amazing. And I think for people watching, I, I think everyone should feel so thankful that we get to know the story of Spain, so many things through this amazing queer artist. And what is incredible is that we're learning the story of Spain through the younger generation eyes. That's very important, people. So don't forget about it. It's all cute that we have technology and that we're advancing in life, but these young queens know where they came from and they know who they are because of that. So pay attention, people. España is letting you have it. Trend, Trend alert. alert! Prince, baby. Prince for days. Florals, words. Make a splash in your outfit, baby. Color block is gone. Bring the prints, bring the color, bring the creativity. Art, 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 art. Did somebody mention art? I'm obsessed. Hey, hey. Our, Our top, top two of the week, week is... is Estrella Extravaganza. Yes, Estrella Extravaganza, girl. You did that. Black and white realness. How... God, Estrella got a top two of the week. She's grown hey. so much. Um, business wear taken to a high fashion take, serving us history, serving us camp, serving us futuristic stuff. I mean, this was a combination of an incredible look, well fitted yeah. into an incredible mm -hmm. makeup skill. Like this was great. Congratulations. You deserve it, baby girl. Soon we will know who will be Spain's drag superstar, baby. Oh my God, so they all deserve it so much. I don't know how this is gonna end. I'm itching, <laughs> I'm so excited. And don't forget brand new episodes of Drag Race España every Sunday at At Race Player. And if you're watching for any other country that is not Spain, you can subscribe to 1% Plus and the whole season is there for you to watch. Woo! See you next time yes. on a brand new Fashion Photo Review. Bye! Adios! Now, sissy that wow. Now, sissy that wow.